Hello everyone. Welcome to the demonstration of Apsi Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you how to integrate your online Zoho CRM account with the back office ERP Sage 300 via Apsi Connect. Well, we have a demo Zoho CRM account and demo database company which will be taking place for this integration. So I will start by the account synchronization process and account and contact synchronization. So I will move to the accounts part in Zoho and I will be creating a new account here with the contact details for that particular account. So here I have to provide an account name first. Okay, so I'm giving an account name and here I have to, uh, have, have to give all the details for that particular account. So once you have added all the details, so uh, you can add different billing and shipping address. For this demo, I'm keeping one address as a default address. So you can use both billing and shipping purpose. I'm just copying it, the billing address into shipping one. But if you want to add different addresses, that can be possible also. So I have already added the default fields. So now I'm going to save this. So the account has been created successfully in Zoho CRM. Now I'm going to assign a contact under the account. Let's add a new contact here. You have to provide the first and last name for that particular contact. So uh, here if a uh, unique email ID has to be put in here. So I'm adding a unique email ID here for that particular contact and you can add the other contact details for that particular contact. So I already have added all the details. Now I'm just quickly save this. So the account and contact successfully uh, added in Zoho. Now I'm quickly go back to the agent and this synchronization is taking place from Zoho to Sage. So for that, I can find the integration point from Zoho to Sage direction. So this is the integration point customer add, which we will be using for this account synchronization. And once the synchronization has been done, you can find the result of the synchronization that whether it is successfully synced or not in the resync bucket. And the details regarding the synchronization you can find in the uh, log file. So. So it's showing success that means the data has been synchronized successfully and the details I can find in the log file. So here is a log file where I can get all the details regarding the synchronization according to the timestamp basis. So I'm now just quickly go back to the Sage environment and under the account receivable part in the air customer you can find there is a section and this is customers and under the customer you can find the newly created customer which I have synced already. So let's find the customer by its name. So here is a customer which I have created in Zoho. It's successfully synced with all the details which I have mentioned for that particular customer. Uh, it's present in Sage 300 now. So these are the default fields which I have mapped for this demo purpose. And uh, one thing I want to mention, this account synchronization is a bi-directional process. So that means if you want to create any um, account in Sage and want to synchronize that from Sage to Zoho, that can be possible. So the account has been synchronized successfully and I'm just quickly go to the agent and synchronize the contact at integration point. So uh, if I trigger the contact at integration point, I can find the contact which is assigned for that particular account. Now I'm just quickly refresh this page to get the result in the Sage environment. And again, let's go to the customer part or the contact part and find the account here. So 
so here is the account and if I go to the contact part you can see the contact person which I have assigned for that particular account it successfully synced with all the fields which I have mentioned for that particular contact like the name phone number email ID it has been synced now and uh, which is assigned also for that particular account so the account and contact synchronization successfully done now moving to the product synchronization part for that i will be creating a new product in sage and it will be synchronized from sage to zoho direction so let's move to the inventory control part and under the IT, ic item price list you can find the items and here we can create a new item Firstly, to create an item, you have to choose the structure code. So I'm adding the category for that particular item. And of course, you have to mention all the mandatory details for to create an item here. So I have successfully added the structure code. Now I'm going to add the item description. So I have added the item description. I'm going to choose and add other mandatory details here. Once you have added all the details here, in the price section, you can add a particular price. And I'm just quickly saving it. So the item successfully synced saved in sage environment and quickly go back to the agent and uh, this item synchronization uh, will be taking place from sage to zoho so that's why from sage to zoho direction you can find the item add integration point uh, which i have to trigger because i have configured this trigger in manual but there are two type of trigger button is available here one is manual another one is auto so if you want to make this synchronization automatically you can set a time so that after the particular time data will synchronize automatically you don't have to worry about the trigger but i have configured in, in manual so that's why i have to trigger okay so the item synchronization successfully now done i'm quickly go back to the zoho crm account and let's find the newly created item under the product section in zoho so here is the item uh, which i've created in sage it successfully synced with the details which i have mentioned like the product name and the price is also synced from sage to zoho so I can say the item has been synchronized successfully with the price, with the standard price in Zoho. Now uh, I will be uh, adding a quantity or updating the quantity for that particular item. So for that, let's quickly go back to the Sage environment and let's go to the IC transaction in the adjustment part. Uh, you can update the inventory or the quantity for that i have to choose the item first so here is the item i have to choose first and after that you have to mention the location so these are the basically the warehouses uh, you can add different warehouses for this demo um, choosing this one because I have mapped this so I'm adding the quantity so I have added all the details now I have to post this adjustment so the inventory successfully added in sage but in Sage environment, we have to assign um, batch and serial number and lot number for for that particular item. I mean, item. To adjust the inventory, this is the mandatory field in Sage to assign a serial number or a lot number. For that, you have to go to the item wizard and after that, you have to open the 
I mean, you have to add a serial and lot number here. So you have to choose the item number first, of course. Once you added the item number, you have to check this check boxes, serial number and lot number because you are going to assign those. So and move to the next. Here you have to add a serial number as the lot number also similar. And move to the next, you have to just finish it. Now I'm going to use this inventory update integration point to update the inventory from Sage to Zoho. And once the synchronization has been done, you have to just refresh this page. And you can find the updated quantity is available in Zoho environment. Now I'm going to place an sales order in Zoho. And I will be synchronizing that sales order from Zoho to Sage direction. So let's go to the sales order part in Zoho CRM. You have to mention the subject, of course. So I have added the subject and other details you have to mention here. The status. Uh, is approved I uh, mentioned and you have to choose the account name for which account you are going to place that particular order you have to mention a due date and after that let's add a line item here and let's add a quantity you can add discount also. So I have added the line item and discount and other details. Now I'm quickly save this sales order. So the sales order has been created successfully in Zoho environment. Now I'm quickly go to the agent and this synchronization will be taking place from Zoho to Sage. So this is the sales order add integration point which we'll be using for this sales order integration and once the synchronization has been done you can find the sales order in the uh, under the order entry in sage so let's find the order here in sage environment so i'm finding that So here is the order in Sage. I'm quickly open this so you can find all the details which I've mentioned for that particular order. It's successfully synced with the line item also and the discount which I have mapped. It's also present here. So the discount also which I have given for that particular order, it's successfully synced. So uh, these are a few integration points which I have created for this demo purpose. If you have any queries, you can directly contact with us. Thank you.